In the previous video, we started taking apart the Indian Chief motor for two reasons. One was for powder coating, and two was so that we can get down to the crankcase and fix that crack. Well, the parts are now off to powder coating, and now it's time to finish taking this motor apart. So let's get to it. The major parts that we're gonna be taking off are gonna be the lifter guides right here for the push rods. We're gonna be taking off the cam chain right here and also the camshafts. We're gonna be taking off the drive sprocket. We're gonna be taking off the cylinders. We're also gonna be taking off the starter drive. We're also gonna be taking off the clutch basket. We got a lot done tonight, but I'm out of time. So we're gonna come back the next day. We're gonna keep chipping away at it. All right, folks, it's the next day, and now we're gonna finish taking this motor apart so we can split the cases, but I did run into a small issue. In my attempt to take off the primary gear, I was trying to take this off with an impact wrench, but the problem is I've already taken off the clutch basket, and basically it locks in with these gears, and it prevents you to an extent from turning this as you're trying to take the bolt off. But really, there's nothing stopping you or stopping the gears from turning as you're trying to take this off. So we got two options. The first option is using this official gear jammer by Motion Pro, which this tool is designed to do this. And the second and cheap option is using Abraham Lincoln, a penny. When you put the penny in the gear and you have the clutch basket here, it's gonna lock against these gears. And this prevents you from not only turning the gears as you're trying to take this off, but it prevents you also, being that you're using this penny, from tearing up these gears because this is softer than these gears. So this is gonna bend while these are gonna be locked. So we essentially have a tool for one cent and I am not the originator of this idea, but let's try it and see if it works.
Look at that. Pennies right there. Well, people, I hope you learned a new skill there. We all learned together that you can use a penny to take off primary gears and also torque them down if you don't have a gear jammer. So, yeah, it works. Mm. Damn magnets. Mm. Dang, that's hard. Woo! That's strong there, boy. All right, now with the primary gear off, the clutch basket, and also the stator, we get a full picture of the extent of this crack on the left side of the crankcase, which is why we're doing this in the first place. There, right there, the major one right there. There's also one right up here by the case bearings. The thing is, even if I decided to not have these cracks repaired, I still would have had to tear the motor all the way down to get this left side of the crankcase off because we have all these vital engine components which are perfectly fine. So either way, we still had to tear it down so we can complete this build. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we got the cam chain, just for one last verification, you can see right in there, the motor is at top dead center. Also, this has to be at 12 o'clock, and also you can see those little tiny marks in there. All right, now that we got the camshafts out, the next step is to get the inner cam cover off of the crankcase. Now, I know some of you are wondering, am I gonna replace the cams in the bike now that I have the camshafts out? Yes and no, and the reason being is because I don't wanna change the cams out because they're more than likely gonna be more aggressive, and we already have a lot of technically engine issues going on, and I wanna put everything back together first to make sure everything runs correctly, and then I can take that cover off with the motor in the bike, and the bike is already running and I can replace those if I want to. So yeah, we want to make sure that the motor's good before we do that. Uh. All right, I learned my lesson. All right, so I just tried to take this off and I missed like easily another four boats, so. Yeah. Just had to give it a little bit of a tug. Oh, the oil. Got that split. It's amazing how much oil is still in this bike even after draining it. Looks like the balance shaft is trying to come with it. All right, now that we got the inner cam cover off, one of the last few things to do 
before we can split the cases is get the balance shaft off. So let's do that. Easy peasy. Yep, there's our Woodruff key. We got a lot done today preparing this motor to be split, but the last piece of this puzzle is getting the drive sprocket off. And the reason we didn't get that off today is because I need a 50 millimeter socket and the largest I have is a 32. So we're gonna take that time out to go get that from the store. And then I'm gonna organize all of these parts sitting on the bench. And tomorrow I'm gonna sit this motor on the bench and we're gonna split the cases. All right, it's been about a week since I attempted to <laughs> split the engine case on this Indian Chief Dark Horse and we ran into that issue with that sprocket nut, but I finally got it off. And essentially what it involved was me getting the right socket size. So I originally thought it was gonna be a 50 millimeter. I ordered one, wasn't the right size, and then I had to order a 49, which was the right size, but I still ran into one more issue. This sprocket nut actually had red Loctite on it, so the next thing to do was to try to, I guess, apply some heat so we can break that red Loctite up. So I didn't have access to enough heat to make this happen. I have a heat gun, but it only goes up to like 120 degrees. You need around 400 degrees to break up Loctite. But I found out that brake cleaner from YouTube actually can break up Loctite. And what I did was I sprayed some brake cleaner into those threads and it broke that Loctite up. I used my impact gun from Harbor Freight with the 49 millimeter Milwaukee socket that I got and it came right off, no issue. We gotta get all of these crankcase bolts off. Then we'll be able to put the Motion Pro tool on and split the case.
got it to crack. Ooh, and it's leaking away. Oh! Oh my God. I was not expecting that. So I stood the motor back up because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, but I wasn't putting enough resistance on it. When I finally put enough on it, it made this loud like pop. And that let me know that the case finally split. basically just sitting in here. Whoa, this is crazy. This is blowing my mind right now. Well, uh, so much for the transmission coming out as one piece. We'll be able to put it back together, but the transmission is now out and it's time to get the oil pump and crank shaft out. We're gonna get this little piece off this filter. Oh God, that's heavy. Last piece of this is getting this oil pump off and we should be finished. And with that, we got the oil pump out, we got the crankshaft out, we got the other components of this motor out, and this is now ready to be welded. And we're gonna fix that crack, and we're gonna get this motor back together and back in the bike, and we're gonna finish this project. I do wanna mention that I've never done this before. I like to mention that just to show people that with the right set of tools and just a little bit of patience, and of course the shop manual, you can do this yourself. There's a lot of work <laughs> in front of me that will probably make me curse, but as far as getting it down to where I can hand this off to get a professional to do more work on it, that part's done. So yeah, I hope I inspired you to maybe work a little bit more on your bike because this, this is not something that I did overnight. You have to start somewhere. And that is always my motto, just start. Even if it's just turning a wrench on your motorcycle or your car, it's a start. The next video I encourage you to watch is actually this video right here, which is me removing the motor from the bike. You can see that entire process. And also you can catch up on the latest motorcycle that I'm giving away on my website by clicking right here and check that out as well. But as always, thanks for listening to my story. And if you're subscribed, which I hope you are, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.